Everybody, I have Joe from Armis Coatings here, and we have a very special, unique product here called the Hole Pro. Right. So, in a few short words, what do we design Hole Pro for? So, Hole Pro is a nano formulated performance coating. Hole Pro was created about 12 years ago in Greece, mainly for the shipping wow. industry. The main reason for it was for fuel economy obviously, which is a major factor in the shipping industry. We basically now bring it into the... Well, what is the, yeah, the consumer recreational, recreational side, side, commercial really still, because you got guys out there running charters and things like that. Now, what I like what you said before is it was formulated for a certain thing. We've got some range here. So it really was designed along with the same guidelines of you know, all the new green technologies and reduction of you know, emissions and things like that. And then of course, overall fuel savings. What I like about that is there's multiple products in the marketplace that do this and they're not all the same. The one thing that caught my attention was that the Armas Hole Pro was a hard epoxy and that gives me a really clear idea on not only the durability but also its capabilities of flexibility, its shearing strength, its strength as a whole layer on the bottom of, of the vessel. So. I'm really interested to see how this goes, but the Armas Hole Pro is gonna be something that we offer here in the marine industry. So we're looking for installers to, to uh, get involved with this. We're also looking at an OEM level as well. So check out Armas Hole Pro. Yeah, definitely contact Sean. He's our man down here in Florida. We're gonna be looking to uh, get this out to the entire market. This is definitely a 10X product just because of what its capabilities are. So I'm looking forward to working with it for sure. All right, so we're officially now underway mixing the Armas Hole Pro. All right, so we have part AB that was put together in the can. So that's kind of the nice convenient thing we can do here. It's nice when companies make it that way. One thing that we're doing here is kind of a slow roll with the mixing process just because we don't want to over aerate it. So the more air bubbles you get, even though it's self-leveling, you're still gonna have risk. So we gotta reduce the risk. We don't have that great finish, nice and smooth, clear. So we've been doing this for about a minute and a half now, I would say. Yep. And next thing we'll be putting the xylene in. Now the xylene is basically flow, right? Yep. So we're just using the xylene to kind of thin it out, give it some flow, because we are gonna be tipping this down. So as this is mixed, now we have basically, a we have the time clock on, right? Yep. So you know, let's say an hour from now, this does not work the same way that it does an hour from now. Once you cover it up, so realistically we've seen if you cover up the material. But if you're out there in the field just doing at it. Right. And you, yeah, the xylene helps to give that flow. So yeah, right. but if you're gonna have extra, no matter what, you can't stop that chemical reaction. It's catalyzed. Correct. So some of the products that, you know, we've worked with like, you know, Holmax for instance, or even our coatings, we can gas them with inert gas like argon and you can hold on to them. This is a little more technical, so this, just that one step above in, in quality and you know execution, workmanship is really, really what's important here. So for the beginner, you know, maybe you're, if you're not familiar with mixing chemicals, you might wanna take your time, but ultimately on a pro level, all these little things that we talk about with, you know, reducing the bubbles. Same reduce thing, we happen to like using this kind of mixer as opposed to a fin mixer. So this is a better, Gives it a more even mix. Now we're gonna put in the... Uh... All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and inject some flavor right now. Let's throw that 25 mil of the xylene in there. Okay, and we're good. Hold on, let me shake the tip here, There you okay? go. Syringes are tough sometimes. So what we've seen on the uh, boat, once the boats have been coated, we've been getting a speed increase of five to 10% and the fuel economy of up to 15%. So that's really great and everyone's loving that. We're nice and organized. We got our stuff sitting here, really geared up, ready to go. We got the West Systems 800. This is being used because it doesn't have any lint to it and uh, the nap is fairly tight. So I'm gonna imagine this is not even, this is not a quarter inch. This is probably like right. something much smaller. Three eighths maybe or even less, but this is really the one, the only one to use that helps flow this out, right? That's the yeah. best way to go. We kind of fashioned one for this. So we just cut through with a razor to put it on to what is the, what? This happens to be West Systems. Also, yeah. Roller, but they don't have the. But they don't no. have this brand. So we simply cut down and did a little improv on that. Also, 
You're gonna wanna staff up with the four inch foam. Simple tool to get. Foam brushes, we like getting, we like them from Sherwin-Williams. Sherwin-Williams. They just, keep it much better, the Home Depot and the Lowe's house brand. They probably melt out or they, swell. Yeah, they fall apart. They swell, exactly. yeah. So these really last well. So the okay. Sherwin-Williams basic brand. Yeah, and that's, again, they might look the same, but they're not. Exactly. So you're dealing with, you're dealing with, you know, solvents and things that are gonna swell it. And then of course, you're gonna start floppy foaming on the surface. So we'll have a full list of everything that's the best to get. That was just given to me as well. And other than that, your standard protective things and strainers to do all that. So here we have our product poured out. This is ready to go. We're gonna take it over to the Valhalla 46 and start rolling it out. Make sure it's saturated first, for sure, yeah. yeah. So initially, we're gonna get this orange peel layout, right? right? Even Nice and even, actually that roller works really nice from what I can see right away. It really lays it out. Yeah, it's... How do you know how thick to go? The roller thickness will get it. I mean, you so don't no want, matter. Okay. You don't want to. You don't want to pull the material too much. Now, when you're going to tip it, we're going to let it dry on there, and you're going to tip it. You don't want to pull the material too much. Okay. So you want to make sure that you're getting the material on board, but not drooping. Exactly. All right, not wet dripping. Got it. Right. So you want to definitely take the excess material off. Interested to see how far this one can that we mix goes. Yeah, it's going to go pretty far. The product is self-leveling which means you're not gonna really have. Like roller lines in it, basically. Right. But, but tipping anything it gives you, you a anything much. Anything you see, you, meaning any roll lines that you see. Are gonna dissipate because like what, like five, 10 minutes, 15 right. minutes. And then especially once we tip over it. Right. So the tip is just to basically get it to get how, as I mean, fine as possible. You can see even now how little material it's really using. Yeah, and I love that. I mean, it's. It, it's, it's not using a lot of dirt. Now, if you're doing this in a team setting, why don't we give some, some tips to team setting? So let's say you got two guys that want to do this side right now. Would it make sense that they'd be working, kind of opposing each other, kind of closing the gap? Or would you, would you recommend doing a full chine to chine and then move down one and then move down one? Just because what I'm thinking is, how long do you have until you want to tip this out? So you, you have, you have some time, it definitely gives you some time. Okay. What I would tell you is that I would, let's say, get through, yeah, about a third of this and then have someone tipping okay. behind me. Head, so if you want, if head you start want, guy. Right, so if you want to get, you get it rolled. Okay. And then you have someone that's going to tip behind you. Okay. And then that's basically. Okay, cool. That's basically all it takes. I mean, you yeah, can that's... start tipping it pretty much, I would say, give it about two minutes, three minutes. Okay. At least. So fairly quick. Get yeah. On the, yeah. I mean, it, it's, it's not going to set up quickly that quickly but, but it's nice to work with it when it can flow out right like right when it's fresh all right so basically then this is just a, a light drag right. even even night even stroke i'm trying not to pick up the material got I'm it i'm just trying to get those and even better if you could do one long swipe correct you could do one long slide but i'm just showing you yeah even without the one long slide It'll, it'll yes, level down of course down. it's better if you can do one long, yeah. long to long slide right but once you get but, to master level you know right it'll still level out. For example, that's why I would get also some smaller brushes. Just for the small little get things. For yeah. under, meaning you now want to get under here. Now, would it make sense to... Right. Like, just it, put it a little does. in? You, you can't, it, that's what... This, it wouldn't make sense to just pull whatever's on here. You would either... That's what I mean. So you would either dip, meaning what I would do is I would just dip this okay. and I was that. wondering. I just wondering when I look at it, I'm like, hey, is it possible just yeah, to preload it's, it's no problem, it. it's possible. As long as you don't... My only fear when you do it like that is you end up dragging you drag the brush across. Okay, so like instead right. of just going like exactly. this, you're saying don't. Right. Okay, I mean, I know I'm messing up your work, but. No, it's, it's all fine. I feel like that so looks. we gotta get it all. Because of the, the radius, I like the, and then you just blend it in, and then you here, let me right. get a little for you over here, the guy. All right. Now, you're gonna watch and you're gonna look if there's any sagging of material, because. You wanna take care of that right so away. So you yeah. wanna definitely take care of any. 
yeah sagging that's that might happen but again not using too much product right, in the you're beginning just, you're yeah. not trying to drag the product out Okay, one thing that was cool about Hole Pro is I was sitting here with a wrench. He came over and he said, here, just hit this stuff with the wrench. And we had this Hole Max panel we were gonna put in the water. This is version two, so I said, all right, cool. Let's, 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 you know, sit here and make some noise. And I looked at it, I said, it's not even that it's not chipping. It's not even scratching it at all. And this was the cool part, you know? I'm like, we're not chipping into this at all. It's a dirty panel. But as we started to hit this, you could see all these little these little white spots here where the stuff came off actually. And I said, well, you know, that's a problem because like right now, if I just want to take Hall Max, I can do that. I can sit here and do this all day long and I can just keep going and it's not going to happen. Really awesome technology, two thumbs up. This is going to be great for your brand new lifts too. Think about aluminums, trailers, all those things. That's what we're going to be bringing the Hull Pro to because it's not just for hull bottoms. This is just a very unique application. So again, look in the whole pro, ask us anytime, contact us here at HQ or even on Instagram, email us, text us, just get in touch with us. Finished project, almost really. We gotta put this down tomorrow. We'll finish out the water line so we have one solid layer across and around the transom. So what do I think about this? Well, I will be completely clear about two things. Number one, the application is really straightforward. So I love that because for our team members, this is gonna be something that they're adaptable, uh, adapts real quick to. And also for those who are gonna be coming in as installers, then they're gonna be able to learn this really quick too. Of course, there's a knack with everything, but it is a really, really different process than some of the things that we put on in the past. So that's great. The second thing is when I look at a coating and how it's setting up, I really like the way that it actually lays out and the self-leveling of this epoxy that's so thick seems to be really super high end. And that's gonna be part of that nanotechnology, no doubt. Now, my rating on this is probably gonna be an A plus because I like this product so much because of its sheer strength. We were banging on the gel coat panel, looking at how it would break, it didn't. We were really adamant about finding something that could take the abrasion from, let's say, strap lifting when you're at the marina. We also know that trailering was an issue for our Hallmax product before, again, that was one of the main things that we wanted to find a solution for. So this being one of the hardest products I've seen, I'm gonna give it two thumbs up on that. And we look forward to really doing more of these. Part of the reason that I also liked it was when we look at metals, we were having a hard time with Holmax on metals. So now we've cured that problem, especially for the stainless pieces that are back here. We know that it wouldn't really set up well on there and it would flake off, as well as the zip wakes, which are a super tough plastic here. As you can see, epoxy lays right out on it. The whole Pro is definitely gonna be one of those products that I'm gonna implement 100% here at DNA and into our network. So if you have any questions about the whole Pro, you can certainly contact us. We'd love to help you out. Certainly if you are a marina or an installer looking for something else to add to your line, absolutely contact us at DNA. Hit us on the Instagram if you like. This is gonna be a win for us, we know it. And of course, we wouldn't put anything out without our name on it if we didn't think it was awesome. So, for that matter, I'm gonna sign out right now and get back to work. Everybody have a great day.